Hi, uh, my name is Ed Smith. I am the Director of Cerebrovascular Surgery at Children's Hospital Boston. Uh, I'm here to talk today a little bit about Moya Moya. Uh, Moya Moya is a disease of the blood vessels of the brain that can lead to stroke. Uh, the word itself is a Japanese word that means puff of smoke. Here we have an angiogram and what this shows, this is a picture of a child from the side. You can imagine the profile of the child coming around like this. The eyes are here, the nose is here, and you can see the blood vessel coming up from the neck just as I sh showed in the MR angiogram. You can see that there's a small fuzz of blood vessel, the so-called puff of smoke, which is very little of the brain is actually getting supplied. As you can see here, there's a big gap with really no blood supply getting to the brain. This is important because this is the part of the brain where the piping is not delivering the blood where it's needed. Once the diagnosis of Moya Moya has been made with the angiogram, we often then will proceed to treatment. The treatment for Moya Moya is surgical. Although some medicines like aspirin can often buy some time and improve blood flow, the long-term treatment has to be a bringing in of a new blood supply to supplant what is not being fed by the Moya Moya vessels. One of the surgeries that's done here at Children's is one that was developed by our chairman, Dr. Scott, a number of decades ago and has been refined over the years. The basic idea, as you can see here on the television screen, is to take a healthy blood vessel from the scalp, which is not affected by Moya Moya, and use that as a graft to bring a new blood supply to the brain. We mobilize this blood vessel and then make an opening in the bone on the side of the scalp and then with that bone removed can then lay the blood vessel down on the surface of the brain. We can then replace the bone flap afterwards and the end result is that we now have this healthy blood vessel like a new pipe coming down to the brain and with the exposure of this healthy blood vessel to the brain that's starved from oxygen from the moya moya, multiple new blood vessels will grow. This process called angiogenesis is a unique phenomenon and actually was first described here at Children's Hospital by Dr. Judah Folkman and is something that is ongoing both with my laboratory and with others looking at new ways to better discover treatments for Moya Moya and understanding how this is a role for this disease. Once the surgery is done, the goal is to stop new strokes from happening. We have an angiogram here that shows, again, this is the initial study before the surgery. You can see there's very poor blood flow down below and almost no blood flow to the brain here. After the surgery has been done, you can see where that graft has done its job. You can see a brand new blood supply protecting the brain from future strokes. We've been able to track our children, our patients here at Children's Hospital, over years and in some cases decades. And what we've been able to show is we've been able to reduce the rate of stroke from somewhere to 60 to 90 percent over a five-year window down to less than 4 percent with the application of the surgery developed here at Children's. And we hope that we can use our expertise at Children's Hospital to make the lives of children better with this disorder.